Hi everybody! So, I thought for a really long time what I was going to make this video about. I was going to do it about a character of mine called Jack, I was going to just read some stuff that I wrote, and like show, and like show pictures and stuff like that, and like, well, I filled almost an entire book of just one person, um, and multiple books of multiple other people. I write a lot. Mostly about this one story, but I've also written 600 pages of another book that's just waiting for, for me to finish editing it and try to do something with it. So I'm, I wanted to make this video about something I care deeply about. Some of my writing, which is basically who I am inside my head. This up here has to get out or it just stays there and rots, basically. Um, but it occurred to me while I was trying to detail the life story of a character I care very much about, even though it, they don't exist, they're pretty much a crappy human being until much later in their life. But I realized I'm boring. I'm very boring. Literally, I'm sitting here talking to myself, looking at what I've written and what I'm saying, and just... This sucks. <laughs> and now I'm like, what do I do? I'm boring myself. And for someone like me who is incredibly creative and wants to entertain others with their creativity that is really disheartening because i don't think i'm boring normally well for other people i am because i don't say much but for me i'm quite interesting because my head is going a thousand miles an hour and i sit there and enjoy the ride but it's boring for you because all i'm doing is sitting here either zoning out if I'm thinking to myself, or I'm droning on, kind of like I'm doing now. But this is actually telling you something, I'm not just reading what you could read for yourself if I had a thousand copies of it. I want you to read my books, I want everyone to read my books and enjoy them and get to know the characters as well as I do, because they're really good characters. I'm, I'm proud of what I've done with my work. I'm really proud of it. I, I wouldn't have written, you know, a thousand pages on the computer and probably a thousand handwritten on paper, plus the art that I've made. It's, but what am I supposed to do? I want to share with you this work and it's either, okay, I read from my book and I'm looking down like this and you hear the shuffling of pages every, okay, probably about three minutes. I think I read a page in three minutes. I, I mentally read a page in about a minute. But that's a boring video. I mean, I could like do something to animate it or pop up pictures of that I've drawn because I have drawn hundreds of pictures of these characters that I've written about. But then I'm still just looking down like this and reading from a page. Or I'm looking right here and reading from a digital page. And that's boring for me. I can't imagine how boring it is for you just looking at someone who's not even looking back at you and listening to one voice, not many, because, well, I, I don't exactly have that strong of a larynx. Like, I can make kids' stories interesting, but not grown-up stories. I don't really know where I'm going with this, it's just, I wanted to make a video and this video ended up being a confession, I guess. Or a rant? I don't know what to call it. Am I the only one who feels like that? I can't be. I know I have creative friends. I know a lot of you make movies or write stories or do other incredibly creative, wonderful things. I've been involved with some of them and it's been great, I love it. But I can't imagine how boring it must be just trying to 
share it in a way that it's not meant to be shared. Like, I can tell you about this movie, I can read you the script, but wouldn't you rather see the movie? Tell me in the comments, or something, because I know I can't be the only person who feels like this. And I know that it must be a logical thing to feel, because I'm a very logic-driven person. So, what I'm feeling is not illogical. <laughs> I didn't really know what to make a video about. Like, I knew what I wanted the video to be, but making it that just got really boring. And that's hard. For someone who thrives on sharing their work with others, I have an incredibly busy, active, creative mind. It is crazy. It's why I can't sleep at night, because I'm sitting there thinking about what I could say for this, and what I could do for that, and what I could write, and just everything. Mostly situations that'll never happen, and things that writing down wouldn't happen for. That was a really bad sentence. I'm up all night thinking, because my mind just keeps going. I know I'm creative, and I know that what I write is decent because, well, I write like a proofreader, not like a teenager. I really need to proofread my book. Really need to proofread my book. The first two-thirds of my book read like a 14, 15, 16-year-old wrote them. Because that's who wrote them. I started writing when I was, well, I started writing writing when I was probably six or seven, young enough that I still lived in my old house in Oklahoma, but old enough that I knew how to write. I have proof of it somewhere. I have a little bitty story that I made out with my brother, and it's about, I don't know, us chasing a gorilla or something. That's the one line I remember out of it. But I made a point to write it down because I wanted to remember it. That's the start of me writing stories. And then... Six years later, I started writing six I started writing when I was twelve or thirteen in middle school because I was getting picked on, I was depressed, and well writing was a great outlet for me. Turning on my creativity made it so much easier to get through the day. It was awesome. I felt so much better. It was great. So I've been writing for a really long time and I can see how much I've improved because my first stories are crap utter crap. Like, the bones are there. The bones are pretty strong. I could make it into a much better story. And I have transcribed it and tweaked it and made it a little bit better story, but it still reads like, you know, a 12-year-old came up with it. Um, and since I was 12, the stories are about superheroes. And of course, my interest turned away from the superhero aspect and turned into the character aspect of the characters, and not just the fact that some of them can fly. Yeah, that was fun. I always have room to improve, and I'm always open to constructive criticism. Don't say I write like crap. Tell me what you don't like and how I can change it, what you would like to see. I respond well to that. Please, tell me how I can improve. So, I want to share my work. But I can if I can't share it. Or if I'm sharing it the wrong way, it just falls flat. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Thanks for listening to me complain.